What do you get when you get a cross between James Brown, Prince, Michael Jackson, and Lisa Bonet? Well, some handsome guy or girl that is out of your league. Hello, I'm Von the Stampede, and today we're taking a look at the history of Terrence Trent Darby. <laughs> Terrence Trent Howard was born in Manhattan in March 15, 1962. His mother, Frances Howard, a gospel singer and counselor, got remarried to a bishop named James Benjamin Dark, who became Terrence's stepfather and raised him. Terrence also took his father's last name for his stage name known as Terrence Trent Darby. Before making it into the music business, Terrence trained as a boxer in Orlando and won the Florida Golden Gloves Lightweight Championship. Terrence also offered to go to boxing school in the U.S. Army, but instead enrolled at the University of Central Florida. He soon dropped out and went to West Germany and, and worked as the band leader in Touch. The group released an album called Love on Time released in 1984 but it was re-released in 1989 as early works In 1986, Terrence left West Germany to sign a solo record deal. So on July 13, 1987, Terrence released his first solo album, introducing the hard line according to Terrence Trent Darby. It was a commercial success. Album reached at number four on the US Billboard 200 and number one on the UK album charts. It spawned five single hits, If You Let Me Stay, Rain, Sign Your Name, Dance Little Sister, and Wishing Well. Sign the name across the Darby expressed how this album was the most important album since the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's album. Terrence did receive a Grammy Award in March 1988 for the Best R&B Vocals and Soul Train nomination for the Best New Male Vocals. So in 1989, Terrence released his follow-up, Neither Fish Nor Flesh. It bombed. It ranked on number 61 on the US Billboard 200 and number 75 on the US top R&B slash hip hop albums. It only had one single, The Side of Love. The reason why neither Fish nor Flesh failed is for several reasons. Critics were saying that the album was pretentious, bad lyrics, didn't really have much of a focus, and Darby claimed that the album lack of commercial impact was due to the record company, well, just not promoting the album. Basically, this second album was going through a lot of behind the scenes meddling between the producers and Terrence himself. As well as being hindered by German producer Frank Farron, Farron was also responsible for the lip syncing duo Millie Vanilli. And Four years later, Terrence moved to Los Angeles and released his third at studio album, Symphony of the Down, which was released in May 11, 1993. The album reached at number four on the UK album charts and number 119 on the US Billboard 200. Cynthia the Dam had three hits, Do You Love Me Like You Say, Delicate featuring Desiree, She Kissed Me and Let Her Down Easy. Cynthia Dam marked of something of a comeback after his disappointment of his second album, Neither Fish Nor Flesh. In June 1, 1995, Terrence released his fourth album, Vibrator. It reached number 178 in the US 200 and number 11 in the UK chart. It featured the hit single, Hold It On To You. Real. 
During the 90s, his relationship with the record company Columbia Records crumbled, which resulted in him to leave in 1996. Darby later moved to Java Records, which he recorded one album, Solo Return. Till this day in the making of this video, the album still hasn't been released. In 2001, he legally changed his name to Sonata Mataria, but here's my understanding on why he changed his name from this clip. The truth is that I, I was never very happy with that life. It had like a glimmer of something, and then that glimmer was kind of doused and, and snatched away. I was given to, to know that it would, though it be, would be very difficult, it would also turn out to be something of immense value to my process as a human being. The psyche that I operated with last time kind of traumatized to the point of not being a very workable source anymore. So after much meditation and prayer, I basically received the opportunity to, to take a new psyche and work and to continue the life that I was asked to live here. In that same year, Sonata moved to Germany and started his own record label, Treehouse Pubs. Following his six-year absence, he released his fifth album, Wild Card. The album spawned two singles, Oh Divina and What Shall I Do? In 2005, Sonata released his fifth album, Angels and Vampires Volume 1. It was his first album to be released under his new legal name. From his previous albums was credited under the stage name, Terrence Trent Darby. This album didn't produce any hits. In 2006, he released his sixth album, Angels and Vampires Volume 2. It introduced a more organic stripped down sound, quite different from his earlier albums that had a heavily taken advantage of the electrical music equipment. Sonata then released his seventh album, Nika Mortis, which was released in May 20th, 2009. The album didn't produce any singles either. This was then his follow-up of his 2011 album, The Sphinx. In 2013, Sonata released Return of the Zuthali. After those two albums, he released his 10th studio album, The Zyberg Time Lord. Sonata also collaborated with other artists like Everything But The Girl with their hit single, A Stronger Man. Sonata also appeared in television and films such as Shake, Rattle, and Rolls, an American Love Story as Jackie Wilson. Someone to share lonely hours, moments of despair, to be loved, to be loved. His stage name was used in the manga slash anime JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You may call me Darby. <laughs> Darby, huh? A call or fold. Say it out loud right now. Darby! <sighs> he went from being one of the biggest artists in the late 80s to an independent artist. Not much is known what happened to him from his experience in the music industry. Let's just say the industry wanted him to be something that he wasn't. At least Sonata didn't become crazy or have a mental breakdown like Lauryn Hill. You're my peace of mind. Terrence Trent Darby or Sonata Mataria is underrated. This guy plays his own instruments, sings, and is a great stage performer. And you know what is sad? That he doesn't get enough credit for his work. I say he's up there with Prince and Michael Jackson as the same level as talent, and I know there are some people who will disagree, and that's fine. I'm just glad he didn't let the music industry corrupt him and still working on his craft. So check him out if you have the chance. Um, our greatest happiness and our greatest reward in life comes through realizing ourselves through all of the things that we fear stand in the way of what we most desire. And that is your dream. So that is our greatest challenge, that is my greatest challenge, has been my greatest challenge, it is throughout every situation which comes up and says, no, you can't do this. No, you're not supposed to do this. No, not you. It's just to say, that's not true. This is what I want. 
and I will stand firm and strong until I realize what it is that I want. Anyway, that's the end of the video. People, did you like the end of the video? Did you learn something new? Don't forget to hit that bell icon button, that subscribe button. And I'm Von the Stampede, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.